My name is David Carlson. I'm from Belcare, BC, Canada. Before the dual degree program, before my first year at uh, Simon Fraser University, I was the athletic guy. I was a football guy. I was on the rugby team at school, uh, played community football for seven years because it sounded like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I was absolutely correct. It was an absolutely amazing experience. Getting to spend over two years in such a beautiful and vivacious country such as China, it was extremely rewarding and challenging but very, very rewarding, a lot of fun. After five years in the dual degree program, uh, you actually end up with two degrees in computing science, uh, one from the Zhejiang University and one from SFU. Uh, so in, in only five years, you're able to graduate with two degrees uh, in what I would argue is the most prevalent uh, faculty offered at, uh, at university today. Um, and it's, it's something, it gives you necessary skills and abilities in the job force. My name's Ivan Ma. I was born in Calgary. I was raised mostly in Vancouver, and uh, I stayed in Vancouver for most of my life until I went to China. Essentially how, what convinced me to go was, it was different. It was very different in the sense that if you stayed at SFU, you, sure, you get a degree, you have four or five years of, you know, a standard university life. You graduate, maybe you get a local job here. But what makes DDP really different is, you spend two years in a foreign country, learn a brand new language, Mandarin, which is very predominant now. Anywhere you go, you probably find a Chinese person. And by going to China and having to be able to speak Mandarin, you um, open up tons of new doors and opportunities. Each cohort before going over to China, uh, the computing science dual degree program tries to get you introduced to computing science and tries to give you some of the foundation and the fundamentals behind computing science because that is your major after all. Uh, but then at the same time, simultaneously, I uh, give you the language skills necessary to exceed over there. <laughs> now, the majority of your Chinese, you're going to be learning in classes and, you know, daily interactions, going to buy groceries, going to the night market and bargaining for things. Um, but no, the university uh, enrolls you in introductory Chinese courses, lots and lots of courses, so many credits. You definitely get a good foundation before you go over to China, that when you're over there, you can pick it up like that. What I just said was basically, Chinese isn't as difficult as everyone thinks it is. It's actually quite easy to say. And when you're in the dual degree program, you're over there for such an extended period of time that you're really able to understand some of the logic and the culture of China that aids you in being able to speak all the, uh, the pronunciations and the tones correctly. So. Hi, my name is Alicia Jamal. I am part of SFU's dual degree program in computing sciences. Say hello to Hangzhou, the city of romance. Hangzhou is known to be one of China's most beautiful, colorful, and elegant cities. Hangzhou is famous for the West Lake, where Zhejiang University is located. Zhejiang University is known to be one of China's top three universities and is also known to be as the Cambridge of the East. I have made many friends here at this university, both with the local students and the international students. I have met people from Australia, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Spain, and many other countries. And it is lovely to see all these new people. I, I love China. China is a great country. So I mean, the opportunity to go over there and work over there is something that very much so appeals to me. During the first interview, the interviewer, the first thing he said to me when, he, uh, when I sat down was, you have a very interesting resume. And uh, he pointed out that you know, the fact that I went to China it was a lot different from all the other candidates that's been before me. It has been a daunting task, I, I won't deny that, but it's been oh so rewarding at the same time. I mean, to be able to go and write my own software, to my, write my own computer program now, and to be able to have a fluent conversation with my Chinese friends, it's, it's fun. So what I essentially said there in Chinese was, because China is a completely different place, it's a whole new world, that's why it's interesting. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you.
China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for you. China is waiting for